Desejo expressar publicamente a satisfação com que o governo português recebe o presidente Ronald Reagan, representante supremo de um aliado com que Portugal sempre manteve estreitos laços de amizade e cooperação. Laços que são diariamente reforçados pela laboriosa comunidade portuguesa que vive e trabalha na grande nação americana e aí transmite a imagem do povo português, trabalhador, pacífico, orgulhoso do seu passado e desejoso de construir em liberdade um futuro de maior bem-estar, de progresso e de justiça social. A visita do Presidente Ronald Reagan a Portugal deu uma oportunidade de renovar os contactos que estabeleci no passado como dirigente do maior partido da oposição, primeiro, menos os problemas da vida internacional. As nossas relações bilaterais têm-se processado em clima de mútua compreensão e respeito, mas gostaríamos de as alargar a novos campos. Manifestamos a esperança de que os Estados Unidos possam colaborar na tarefa de modernização das estruturas económicas e sociais portuguesas, que a próxima entrada de Portugal na CE vem tornar urgente e imprescindível. Falamos também dos problemas da África Austral e da América Latina, áreas do mundo a que Portugal se encontra tão ligado pela sua história e cujos problemas acompanha com sincera preocupação. Os problemas das relações leste-oeste ocuparam parte importante das nossas conversas. É grato salientar que os pontos de vista das duas delegações estiveram sempre próximos, uma vez que ambos os países estão animados do desejo de contribuir para a criação de um clima de desanuviamento que conduz a uma paz estável e duradoura, via que permitirá também a solução dos problemas de desenvolvimento das zonas mais atrasadas do mundo. Muito obrigado. I wish to express publicly how pleased the Portuguese government is to welcome President Ronald Reagan, the, the supreme representative of an ally who has always had very close friendship and cooperation ties. These ties are strengthened more and more through the diligent Portuguese community living and working in the big American nation and shows there the image of the Portuguese people, hardworking, peaceful, proud of their past, and willing to build in freedom a future of greater welfare, of progress and social justice. President Ronald Reagan's visit to Portugal has given me the opportunity to renew the contacts which I have established in the past with him. Firstly, as the leader of the largest party in the opposition, and then as Prime Minister, and in establishing those contacts with the President of the United States, and showing him once again the appreciation of the Portuguese people and government uh, for his qualities in the leadership, for his determination and firmness shown in trying to defend the higher interests of the Western world. The Portuguese democratic process started in April 1974 and owes a lot to the support given by the American people and governments to the very difficult task undertaken by the forces 
fighting in Portugal for democracy, for freedom, and for the defense of human rights. The meeting we have just had was a very important one where we were able to deepen our bilateral relations and to continue the regular exchange of information and points of view on the most pressing problems of international life. Our bilateral relations have developed under mutual understanding and respect, but we would like to see them spread to new fields. We showed the hope that the United States may indeed collaborate in the task of modernizing the Portuguese economic and social structures, which Portugal's accession to the EEC make urgent and vital. We also discussed the problems of Southern Europe and Latin America, areas of the world which Portugal is so tied to through history and the problems of which are followed by us with a sincere concern. The East-West relations have also been a very important part of our discussions. I am particularly pleased to stress that the points of view of both delegations were also close, uh, since both countries have a lively wish to contribute towards such a détente that will lead to a stable and lasting peace and will thus also enable us to solve the issues on the development of the most backward areas of the world. Thank you. It's a special pleasure to visit this green and beautiful country, and I'm particularly delighted to have had an opportunity to review important international questions with my good friend, Mario Suarez. I fondly recall my previous meetings with him and remember so well his central role in bringing democracy to Portugal and in promoting freedom throughout the world. This morning we had a friendly and very useful exchange of views with the Prime Minister, Vice Prime Minister Machit, and other members of the Portuguese government. There was a feeling of sadness as well as we reflected on the sudden death of former Vice Prime Minister Professor Mota Pinto. We, he was a man dedicated to the ideals of individual freedom and political democracy, and he was a champion of the Atlantic Alliance. I agree with the Prime Minister that the state of Portuguese-American relations is excellent. I'm pleased by the degree of mutual respect and the spirit of cooperation which exists between our two nations and which characterized our talks today. Portugal is a steadfast and valued ally, and I came to Lisbon knowing that I would consult not only with partners, but with friends. Our meetings gave us a valuable opportunity to review our bilateral relations, both in the security field and in the economic area. We reviewed the significant steps recently taken toward expanding our economic cooperation and strengthening the ties between our economies. And as the Prime Minister noted, we addressed a number of international issues of mutual concern. Our discussions were characterized by a close similarity of viewpoints. I profited greatly from hearing the views and insights of the Portuguese government. Our talks ranged broadly both over East-West matters and third world questions. I would note in particular the attention given to Southern Africa, which reflects Portugal's special knowledge and expertise in this region and our ongoing close consultations on the problems of the area. I also took the opportunity to applaud Portugal's pending entry into the European community. We have long supported Portuguese entry, and as I told Prime Minister Suarez, we view the recent accord both as a major step forward for Portugal and as a contribution to European unity. And now, if you will permit me, following a little translation, we have an important date to keep uh, just across the garden. Thank you. Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, it was really a pleasure and special opportunity to visit this country so beautiful and beautiful. I am particularly encantado to have had the opportunity to